Hi dear students, good morning one and all, myself Bhavsev Sanoni, Assistant Professor, Department of Chemistry, Gokhale Education Societies, Arts, Commerce and Science College, Jawar, Palagar. Dear friends, today in this lecture, we are going to discuss the syllabus of SYBSC Chemistry Paper 2. But before this, I would like to welcome all the students who have passed their first year BSc and have taken admission in the second year BSc and selected chemistry as one of the major subjects. So I welcome all the students on behalf of Department of Chemistry of our college. Friends, in this lecture, we are going to discuss the distribution of subjects, allocation of marks and the content of particular subject or the paper which is taken into consideration. Friends, in the SY BSc, just like the first year of the BSc, you will have three chemistry papers as well as three practical courses because in the first year BSc you also having two theory papers and the two practical courses. Similarly, in the second year of the BSc, you will have three chemistry papers, chemistry 1, chemistry 2, chemistry 3 and respectively their practicals. If we will see the allocation of marks, if you remember about the first year BSc, then you are having two theory papers and for the two theory papers, definitely total allotted marks was 200 and for the practical each practical was carrying 50 marks so there were there was only 50, 100 marks for the practical papers but in the second year bsc you are having three theory papers as chemistry paper one chemistry paper two chemistry paper three and their respective practicals so you will have 300 marks for theory paper so each theory paper will carry 100 marks and 150 marks for practical so each practical course will carry 50 marks if we will discuss the syllabus of chemistry paper 2 because before discussing the syllabus i would like to tell you as there are three chemistry papers in the SYBSC but the chemistry paper 1 will be taken by dr pawar sir chemistry paper 2 will be taken by three teachers uh, myself uh, I will take your uh, chemistry paper 2 but in the chemistry paper 2 we will discuss only unit number 1 based upon the physical chemistry and paper number 3 will be taken by Dr. Kirti Kulkarni so in the paper number 2 chemistry paper number 2 we are three peoples that are going to discuss the syllabus of this pap chemistry paper 2 chemistry paper 2 contains three units unit number one based upon the physical chemistry that will be taken by me unit number two based upon the inorganic chemistry that will be taken by Bombay sir and the chemistry uh, unit number three in the chemistry paper two we be based upon the organic chemistry that will be taken by dr. Parikar sir so friends in the chemistry paper 2 as already i told you there are three units and unit number one is based upon the physical chemistry so the first topic in the chemistry paper 2 unit number one is chemical kinetics so this term is very familiar to you all because in the fibs in the first year of the bsc in the first term we was having a chemical kinetics so this chemical kinetics is again included in the second year BSc and definitely the extended part of FI BSc is given in this topic in the second year because in the first year we have studied the different terminology in the chemical kinetics what is chemical kinetics you know very well as you all are very well known about this chemical kinetics it is one of the branch of the physical chemistry which deals with the study of rate of chemical reaction and the factors affecting chemical reactions so this is 
uh, important term in the physical chemistry so in this topic again we are going to discuss about the rate of reaction factors affecting rate of reaction in the fibsc we have studied different terms like the order of reaction molecularity of reaction in the order of reaction we had studied the first order reaction second order reaction pseudo molecular reaction but in the sybsc we are going to discuss the extended part of this chemical kinetics and that's why it is given as the chemical kinetics 2 so in the sybsc in the chemical kinetics which is included in the chemistry paper 2 we are going to discuss about the rate of reaction but this rate of reaction that we are going to study it is not for the simple reaction that we are going to discuss the or the rate of reaction we are going to study the rate of reaction for the complex reaction what is the complex reaction and the simple reaction definitely it is most important to understand so in this chemical kinetics we are going to discuss about the complex reaction and not the simple reaction because already we have studied the simple reaction or the rate of the simple reaction in the first year bsc so definitely chemical kinetics sorry complex reaction these are the reaction which contains more than two or three steps or these are the reaction which is having order greater than 3 that's why these reactions are called like the complex reaction just like the fibsc as there we studied the rate of any chemical reaction depends upon the various factors and the one of the factor is concentration of reactant rate law states that rate of any chemical reaction is directly proportional to the concentration of reactant but in addition to the concentration of reactant the other factors are also responsible for the rate of reaction and the one of the most important factor is temperature so what is the temperature of the reaction that temperature also decides the rate of reaction so if this is the factor that is included in the rate of reaction in terms of rate equation by the scientist called as the arrhenius so in this topic we are also going to discuss the contribution of temperature or the temperature dependence of rate of reaction by using the equation called as arrhenius equation again there are various theories which are responsible or which are able to explain the rate of different complex reaction or the chemical reaction these are particularly called as collision theory and activated complex theory there are some drawbacks or disadvantages of collision theory which has overcome by means of an another theory called as activated complex theory so in this topic in order to explain the rate of chemical reaction we are going to discuss both the theories collision theory as well as, as, well as activated complex theory and definitely it will be more interesting to you all because the recapitulation part of this topic is already included in the first year bsc and definitely if you are having an idea of the basics of the chemical kinetics of the first year then it will be more easy it will be more interesting to study the chemical kinetics in the sybsc in the chemistry paper 2 as chemical kinetics second so this is the first topic that i'm going to teach you in the chemistry paper 2 in unit number 1 chemical kinetics second next topic that is also that all that is also we are going to discuss in the same unit unit number 1 in the chemistry paper 2 called as solutions so whenever we are seeing the solution definitely many terms came in front of us or many many terms that we are remembering so how the solutions are prepared you know when that uh, for the preparation of any type of the solution we are requiring the two component one component is called as solvent another component is called as the solute so definitely out of these two component one is taken in the uh, one is taken in the larger quantity another one is taken in the smaller quantity the component which is taken in the larger quantity that we call it as the solvent and the component in the preparation of solution is taken in the smaller quantity that we call it as the solute so these are the two component but again there will be a various type of the solutions which can be prepared by using more than two or more than three components so whenever you will mix this component definitely it is possible that all the components are miscible with one another 
or they will not be miscible so based upon this definitely they will show the different properties different behavior and definitely this type of the solution we are going to discuss in the second topic of the unit number one of chemistry paper two called as solution or entitled solution so in this case we are going to discuss about the types of solution how they behave how they behave on the basis of this these are called as the ideal solution and non ideal solution non ideal solutions are also called like the real solution so this classification is based upon whether the solution obeys rolls law or not if these are obeying a rolled law then the solutions are called as like the ideal solution instead of this if the solution do not obey rolls law then that solutions will be called as non ideal solution or the real solution definitely most of the solution in the nature uh, that we are using is real solution means these are not obeying the rolls law so this is nothing but the important definitely ideal solutions obeying the rolls law while non ideal solution do not obey the rolls law and that we call it as a deviation from rolls law so deviation of real solution from rolls law how they show the deviation from rolls law what is the rolls law this is one, one of the important thing because unless and until you don't know the rolls law definitely we will not be able to define the ideal solution or we will not able to identify ideal and non ideal solution so in this topic we are going to discuss about the statement according to rolls called as rolls law again we are going to discuss about the miscibility of liquids into one another either these are completely miscible or incompletely miscible if these are the incompletely miscible means it will be a partial miscible so whenever these solutions are or this liquid components are partially miscible how they behave how they behave that we are going to discuss in the partial miscibility of liquids again if these are completely immiscible then this is called as like the immiscibility of liquid definitely there are many example in the partial miscibility and immiscibility of liquid that we are going to discuss and if the two solutions or the two liquids are completely immiscible then definitely that technique is also used in one of the important uh, actually use that we call it solvent extraction the solvent extraction contains two phase one is the aqueous phase another one is the organic phase and definitely it is based upon one of the important law or the principle of nurs distribution law so nurs distribution law and its application in the field of solvent extraction is very important that we are also going to discuss in the solution so this is the two topics that i'm going to teach you again i'm going to repeat here in the chemistry paper to unit number 1 i'm going to teach you and in the, in the unit number 1 there are two topics one is called like chemical kinetic second and second one is solution so these two topics will be taken by me that i will teach you again in the same chemistry paper 2 unit number 2 is based upon the inorganic chemistry definitely already, uh, already i told you this topic will be taken by bamre sir and it is based upon the inorganic chemistry entitled as selected topics on p block element definitely maybe the introduction of this topic will uh, already given may be already given by that particular teacher but again in short we will discuss about this so in this topic we are going to uh, you will discuss a p block element there are different blocks of the element in the periodic table called as s block p block d block and the f block out of this you are going to discuss in this topic p block element and their particular topic based upon the p block so here you are going to discuss the boron compounds so how the boron compounds are formed how they shows the behavior the boron compound generally these are the electron deficient compound that's why these are called like the lewis acid these are called like the lewis acid so here we are going to discuss about the electron deficiency of this compound again you are going to discuss the preparation structure and bonding in the boron compounds particularly diborane compound b2s6 so this is the important diborane that we are going to discuss that you will discuss here again how the borax or the boron compounds are synthesized that is also going to discuss that you will discuss in this, this topic the second topic in the unit number 2 of the chemistry paper 2 of 
yes for bs in semester 3 it's called as chemistry of silicon and germanium chemistry of silicon and germanium again it is very important what is the chemistry of silicon and germanium and these are the two important material in the in field of semiconductor if you are uh, aware about this uh, chemistry of germanium and the silicon these are very important material in the field of semiconducting material but in this topic which is based upon non chemistry you are going to you will discuss the compounds containing silicon their occurrence how these are occurred in the nature what will be the structure of silicon compounds and their reactivity these are generally inert so they show the inertness uh, that is SiO2 again preparation and structure of SiCl4 so this is the important topics given to you for the study in the SYBSC under the chemistry of silicon and germanium again you are going to discuss the third topic in the same unit called as chemistry of nitrogen family because there are so many compounds uh, present in the nature which are containing nitrogen and definitely you are going to discuss in this topic the chemical reactivity of nitrogen family compounds formation of hydrides halides and oxides of nitrogen how the hydrides halides and the oxides of nitrogen can be formed and what is their chemical reactivity that all things you will study in this topic again oxides of nitrogen is very important their preparation structure and by using the nitrogen we are able to synthesize one of the important compound in the organic synthesis or in, in the that is very important in the that is chem in the field of chemistry in for the uh, synthesis of many compound that compound is called as ammonia so this ammonia is synthesized by using the bohr haber cycle and actually that we are going to discuss the in this topic preparation of various oxides of nitrogen and their structures as well as synthesis of ammonia unit number three in the chemistry paper two is i think already started by dr parikar sir and we have studied many topics in this topic but the syllabus given under this unit number three based upon the organic chemistry called as carbonyl compounds and these carbonyl compound because carbonyl compound these are the compounds containing carbonyl as a functional group that's why these compounds are called as the carbonyl group so it may be aldehyde it may be ketone it may be carboxylic acid it may be ester whatever it may be but these compounds containing carbonyl group carbonyl in the sense c double bond over this is the basic actually of the 11th and the 12th the compound which are containing this group c double bond o group these compounds are called as the carbonyl compounds and the unit number three contain the carbonyl compound and in this unit you are going to discuss your you will study the nomenclature of the carbonyl compound how we can give name according to the ipsc nomenclature system to the carbonyl compound what what will be their structures and how these are prepared and how they show the nucleophilic addition reaction because carbonyl carbon is electron deficient it is containing unsaturation so definitely the characteristic reaction will be shown by addition reaction and as the carbonyl carbon is electron deficient so it will react with the nucleophile so the characteristic reaction of the carbonyl compound will be nucleophilic addition reaction again various reactions will be shown by carbonyl compounds like aldehydes and ketone that you will study in this topic that reactions of aldehydes and ketones again there are some named reactions for the uh, reactions shown by carbonyl compounds particularly these are benzoin condensation reaction Angel condensation reaction claisen smith uh, reaction and canizaros reaction these are very important for the these are the reactions shown by uh, that is carbonyl compounds particularly aldehydes and ketones again keto form can be converted into enol form so this is important so this is called as the keto enol interconversion called as the tautomerism and e, there are actually this is most important uh, active methylene group active methylene this is the ch2 ch2 group this is the ch2 group so after the loss of hydrogen the negative charge if the negative charge is stabilized then that compound is that group is called like the active methylene group and if the ch2 group attached to the carbonyl group 
or it is in conjugation with the carbonyl group then that methyl group is called as the active methylene group so definitely you will study all these things in the carbonyl compound in the unit number three if you want to download this levels of psy bsc chemistry of all papers chemistry paper one chemistry paper two uh, and chemistry paper three then you can visit this website uh, on the uh, on the portal of uh, university of mumbai sorry here i have written i have written semester five but this is not semester five actually it is semester three that's why bsc so this is the uh, website to download the syllabus from the university of mumbai website i think there are some tricks or the tips from my side to you all in order to get more success and get in order to get more marks in the SYBSC chemistry subject not only in the chemistry paper 2 either in the chemistry paper 1 paper, paper 2 or the paper 3 because chemistry paper 1 and chemistry paper 2 these are having the same structure same structure in the sense chemistry in the both the papers will have the three units and out of three units unit number one is based upon physical chemistry unit number two is based upon inorganic chemistry and unit number three is based upon organic chemistry so definitely for both the paper you will require the same same efforts you will require the same practice and your chemistry paper three is based upon the analytical chemistry so this is quite different as compared to chemistry paper one and chemistry paper two because chemistry paper three is totally based upon the analytical chemistry so instrumentation part is more in the chemistry paper number three as compared to chemistry paper two and the chemistry paper number one so whenever you want to get a more success and more marks in the chemistry in the SYBSC you will follow these things if you follow this thing then definitely it will be more easy it will be more interesting for you all to study this chemistry and this YBSC because this is the online mode of teaching that we are going to follow uh, this is the one way <laughs> one way process if you are having the doubts you can communicate these doubts you can ask these doubt definitely we will try to solve this so I will uh, I will ask you all that you should take out your own notes from the material that we are providing you definitely at the end of each topic at the end of each lecture we are going to provide the, some material to you but again I will request you all that you should take out your own notes as for your understanding and definitely it will be more uh, beneficial for you because uh, if you will take out notes as for your understanding then it will be more easy to understand from your side. Again read the same topic, the whatever topic that we are going to cover in the lecture that we are going to conduct in the lecture uh, with the online teaching mode. I will request you all to read the same topic from the textbook which are available in our library. So I will request all the students of PSYBS chemistry either to purchase the books or to issue the books from library and read the same topic that we are going to cover that we are going to conduct in the lecture from the textbook also. So it will be more uh, beneficial. Uh, because once you will read the same topic from the textbook definitely you will be able to uh, compare the topic that we are covered here and the things that is given in the textbook and at the same time by reading the same topic from the textbook you will not miss the marks in the mcq or match the columns or fill in the blanks so these are the again important things again i will request all the students to practice by writing some derivations again and again on the rough paper because already I told you unit number one in both the papers paper number one and paper number two is based upon the physical chemistry as well as unit number three is based upon the organic chemistry so in all in both these units you will require the practice because for the derivation for the expression which is contained in the mathematical part if you will practice again and again definitely just practice makes man perfect you will not lose any step while writing the derivations in the exam and definitely you will be able to complete that answer within the time at the same time organic chemistry is quite volatile chemistry so if you practice that structure by writing again and again on the rough paper definitely it will be very easy for you to for you 
to remember that structure while writing in the exam so again i uh, so i request you to practice more times again and again on the rough paper either for the derivations uh, based upon the physical chemistry or the organic structures based upon the organic chemistry in the unit number 3 again we are going to conduct some quizzes at the end of topic at the end of week or at the end of particular uh, assigned lectures so i will i request all the students to attempt all these quizzes and uh, try to know your score in that quizzes so you will come to that where we are losing our score and where we are able to gain more get more marks again we are going to conduct some assignments at the end of each unit so i request you all the students to solve these assignments and submit to the respective teacher and try to pick that assignment from that particular teacher so that you will be able to know what are the mistakes in that assignments or quizzes and you will not repeat the same mistake again in the future so definitely it will be very easy to avoid mistakes in the future so that will be beneficial for you all to score more mark in the SYBSC. I, I, I request all the students not to take uh, uh, the, uh, the burden of the chemistry in the SYBSC. Take it as that is nothing but the, your uh, daily routine in the sense uh, I, I just I would I just want to request you it is just the subjects like the FIBSC because the water topic that we had studied in this FIBSC similar topics are given in the SYBSC so it is not too much different from the FYBSC and it is not too much difficult also so definitely if you uh, if you follow these tricks if you follow these tips it will be more easy and interesting for you all so thank you friends we will resume in the next video in the next in the next video by starting our actual teaching with the unit number one of chemistry paper two based upon the physical chemistry as chemical kinetics two and solution thank you thank you very much